fabulous start to the season for him. Does he have more goals in his future? Stay with us. And welcome on what is a rather miserable night here at the Parc des Princes. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And a lot to be excited about, because coming up for you, action from Liga. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Ajaccio. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marco Verratti starts with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4 4 2. And it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. And now they get the ball rolling. Hakimi. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And a goal! 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be well considering the form book Stuart Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here well how can you stop him if you get too tight he'll use the space behind you drop off and he'll turn and run at you add that to his movement in the box and you can see why he scored so many goals couldn't hang on to it and Neymar, Neymar, and it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Well, the keeper was hoping someone might get on the end of it, but it will be a throw-in. And he's beaten him here. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Lionel Messi. 
and he's lost custody of the ball here. Oh yes, it's gone in, and now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. So on with the game. Much to admire about PSG, who look as though they're really in the mood. And a timely intervention. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Oh, good play, this. But no damage done. That's the main thing. Messi. Can he do it? Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And what a clever bit of play it was from Messi, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. Blistering first half display. And just look at that score. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Real chance. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Can he finish? Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. The delivery from Neymar. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And then the finish from Messi demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. And Neymar! Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. read it well well there is going to be stoppage time but only the one minute and that will be it for the first half the referee blowing his whistle so here we go the start of the second half at the home of PSG the Pac de Pras. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Verratti. And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Mongani. Here's Tuzgar. Well, the pass not finding its target. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Same story, couldn't hang on to the ball. He's in with a chance. Is it going to be? Oh, burying the beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, they made this look so easy, didn't they? But as you can see, the defending is really poor. Where were they? Yeah. 
Well, it's an out and out pasting. 6 0. Mikael Alphonse. Just the challenge that was required. Well, coming up on EA TV, more action from Liga. It's Paris Saint Germain, and they'll be up against Clermont Foot. Well, he's walking a fine line. No caution, though. Well, the referee's made it quite clear, hasn't he? Next foul, and he will get a booking. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. An awful lot of green space to run into. They've lost it. Yusuf Kone. Well, racing past his man. Now defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Sumptuous pass from Neymar. It could be for Mbappe. Chance, maybe. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Ramos. On to Messi. What a shocking pass, really. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering oh, today. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. He's driven in the corner. And the danger's still on. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. And no luck keeping possession. He's in behind. It's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And in the perfect position to read it. Mongani. And support available. And no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. And the counter looks on here. Options available. They need to get bodies back. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Riyad Nouri. Alphonse has it. Perfect tackle. 
And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. And he's lost custody of the ball here.